What's up, guys? Tim here, XGP Rock Archy, bringing you guys my very first ever, ever OBS tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to get it, how to install it, and show you how to put a couple sources in there to get you started. So the first thing we need to do is actually install OBS. So if we go to OBS, just hit enter. You're going to go right here, open broadcast software project, obsproject.com, open broadcast software. And it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to click Windows. You will go ahead and let it come through. I have a special security device that will block everything I download. So download unverified file. Trust me, it's completely safe. been using it for 13 years and I've had no problems. So go to the .exe, double click that. It's going to ask, can it make changes to your device? Say yes. And then you'll go through this prompt here. Click next. And mine says that I've already got an OBS studio running, so it's not gonna let me go any further, but just follow those prompts and you'll be good to go. And then we will show you what to do next. So after you have OBS installed, you won't be able to see this. It should just be a black screen for you. But because I have display capture currently running, uh, this is what we're going to see. Also, this side would be completely empty. Right now I've got other overlays and stuff that I've built over here. So this is gonna be blank for you. To start one of these scenes, you're going to hit plus, you're going to type in the scene, and then you'll just hit OK, and then I'll create a new scene over here. For right now, I'm going to cancel this because it'll shift my screen and I won't have any mic or any other sources over there. So to add a display capture, if you were playing a game on one monitor and you had OBS sitting on another monitor on the other side, you would go down here, hit plus. I suggest that you would do display capture. So that would be right here. You'll click that and then you'll click create new and then it'll automatically go to one of your monitors. If you need to switch it, you can come down here and switch these to whichever monitor you need. And then you have this capture method. I just leave mine on automatic. I don't do any of that. If I wanted my capture to not be caught, I could turn that off and now you guys can't see my cursor. But for this tutorial, we're gonna keep the cursor to where you guys can see it so you can see where I'm clicking on things. So I'm going to click OK, but because now I have two display captures, I could actually take this red box and drag this one and make it smaller, do a little picture in picture, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these. So I'm going to go here, right click, and then I'm going to remove and say yes. All right, so let's say you're running an Elgato HD60 or a 4K capture card of some sort. You could go down here, click plus, go to video capture device. Type in what it may be, Elgato, for this tutorial. Click OK. Name is already in use. OK. So let's say Elgato 2. OK. And then I could click on this HD60S Plus. It's not going to show anything here because I have it in other sources. So let's say, or other scenes. So let's say if you had one already running in another scene, we're going to go ahead and discard that. We're going to go ahead and remove it. If I can get my mouse to work. So remove, then we'll go plus video capture device, add existing Elgato. Okay. And I always label everything that I'm putting inside of my Elgato because if I don't, then I'll be lost on what things are as far as capture. Cause this would be video capture and then my camera would say video capture device and I wouldn't know which one's which. So I always label everything uh, that I put in here. So let's talk about the microphone and how you get that to register. Because I know you guys have been watching this little bar move the entire time. So you're going to go plus audio input capture. And then you type in microphone or whatever you'd like into that. Click OK. Go here. And then you could choose which of these you would want. Whichever one you're going to use for a microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this because we already have a microphone. And then we're going to talk about this source here and how I run it in my OBS so that I can play my game and hear everything through my PC and not have to worry about any weird audio setups. So we're going to go over here to the Elgato. We're going to right click advanced audio properties. And then on the Elgato, you can see that I already have it changed to monitor and output. So it's going to start with uh, monitor off, but we're going to change it to monitor and output. We'll close that. It will save, and then anytime we interact with the Xbox, we'll be able to hear it 
activate, we'll be able to hear the menus, we'll be able to hear the game. With that being said, I usually run my chats through Discord so that I can play my game and hear everyone chatting. Alright guys, so that's going to end this video. I've shown you how to get OBS, how to add a couple of sources such as microphones, display capture, and your Elgato capture cards for your gaming side. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment below. And if this video helped you out at all, please let me know. And please subscribe, give it a like, and all that jazz. Also, if you guys want to ask me any questions live over on Twitch, we're live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do bear with me. I do have a family, so there might be some things that come up that I'm not live, but you guys can always reach me in my Discord, which is linked down below. If you have any questions about OBS, I'm more than willing to get in a voice chat or make more videos and show you guys how to do things inside of OBS. Eventually, I'm going to teach you guys how to make overlays like this. This is using a 3D transform over here, and this is a Google image in the background, and then that is a custom uh, font that I made. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe so you guys can be walked through every step of OBS and everything that you're going to need to know for 2024 and beyond. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.